Hey guys, sorry about the bad resolution, I'm using my tablet, just thought I'd give you an update, saying hello, if you don't know by now I've been doing a lot of video chats with my DVD reviews aka James Johnson, aka Horror Fanatic aka Crappy movie reviews, but that's a different story. Now, seriously, he's a good guy, and he does good reviews and stuff, and he's he's very funny. Um, we have a good time together on the chats. And if you don't see him, they're normally on a Saturday and on a Wednesday. But I thought I'd give an update, because my channel hasn't had any videos lately because of my bloody camera breaking. And this tablet doesn't do the best video quality. But I thought people wouldn't mind for an update. Because I didn't want to leave everybody in the lurch thinking I didn't care about them. Because I do. I care about everybody. Especially you, Jimmy Richards. You're good, you are. And, uh... I, um... I've been watching a lot of wrestling lately. A lot of Ring of Honor. I started watching, uh, North Face Wrestling. I don't know if you can see that properly. And I'm really having fun watching wrestling again. For a while I didn't watch it. Uh, because I have to be in the mood. So I, I'm put on Extreme Rules on Sunday. And it bored the living hell out of me. The Shield versus Evolution was alright. But Batista looked awful. And the rest of it like Hornswoggle going against the Matador. Oh, I don't care about that stuff. You know, I want proper wrestling. Um, you know, so I'm watching Dragon Gate USA. I've got Ring of Honor, Pro Wrestling Gorilla, Chicago, and all this other stuff. CZW, which is wrestling and isn't wrestling at the same time. Depends on what way you say it. Um, TNA, which has gone down the toilet. You know, I like Ring of Honor when they had the five-sided ring. And when they had the original X Division. I didn't like it when they got the WWE, WCW has beans in it. And now it's just a big, big jug. Um, just as I was done the video, I look blind because you can't see my eyes. But, um, yeah, so I'm getting to watch my Ring of Honours again. Because I just got them from England. Um, so what I'm doing is, I'm, tomorrow I've got 400 cases coming. So I'm going to case them up and then I'm going to start watching them again. Even though I've watched them before, I can't really remember. Uh, so I'm going to watch them again anyway. I mean, there's some matches I love, like Nigel McGuinness. Always matches, really. But his main matches against Brian Danielson and his matches with Austin Aries and stuff like that. I like those matches. Him and Brian Danielson play with my two favourite Ring of Honor wrestlers. And obviously Samoa Joe back in the day of like 2003 and four. Not so much now, because he just looks like a fat Samoan. Um, he's wasted, basically. So, I thought I'd tell you about how my day went. Today, I uh, got up, did a poo, came downstairs, watched Best in the World 2013. Which is alright, the main event sucked. Mark, Mark Briscoe versus Jay Briscoe wasn't a good match at all. I mean, it was alright, but it wasn't great. The best match on the card was probably... Probably the Adam Cole versus Roderick Strong match, to me. And that was, like, the f third match on the card. Um, then got a phone call from my dad telling me he sent the other box. So I should have that tomorrow. Uh, then went upstairs, had a shower... Still waiting for Best Buy to call me to let me know if I've got the job or not. But they don't seem to want to call me yet. Wells Fargo called me yesterday and kind of put me down so I wasn't qualified enough and all that stuff. Which, you know, I don't think they gave me a chance. But I'm not going to complain about it. I'm just going to move on, you know. Um, I ordered a couple of films. Nail Gun Massacre and St Savage Streets. Because there's only a thousand copies made from Code Red. I'm hoping to get Mary Bloody Mary and uh, the Redeemer. 
I don't care about the other one if at least it's not really I might get that if it comes to it but I don't really care about that um Savage Streets is a film I've been wanting to watch for ages I never really got the opportunity to um No Gun Massacre is another one I've been wanting to watch but I never thought I would I didn't want to buy Pirates of it so I'm kind of glad I'm getting them The Redeemer and Mary Blame Me I'd never heard of so I want to get them because they look interesting because I watched the trailers. Uh, when I was a kid, there was a film my mother had on VHS, where this guy wore a mask and he would cut into a woman's stomach after being on a date with her. I only found out today that that was Mardi Mardi Gras Massacre. So I'm hoping to pick that up eventually. So about the jittering camera, I'm holding it and it's jittering a bit, and that's jittering on its own. Oh no, it's an earthquake. Ah, no, I'm joking. Um, what else did I do? Oh, I had a pizza from Domino's, which was lovely. Their new um, specialty chicken is horrible. I don't like it. It, um, it just had mayonnaise on it, and it was like, ugh. Watched the end of Nip Tuck season four. So now I'm on season five. I'd watched them all before, but I thought I'd watch them again because... It'd been a long time, like 2010, I think, when I watched it, or 11. So I'm glad I'm watching it again, because I haven't really got much to do, because I'm applying for jobs, and I'm waiting for interviews and stuff, and nobody's contacting me. And I thought, when I moved, it would be so hard to get a job. I thought, after I got my um, job, um, you know, job card, my working permit card, I thought I'd be able to just go out and get a uh, job, but it's not that easy at all. I don't know why this keeps jittering. No, it, there we go, that's better. And uh, that's what I thought would just be easy, but it's not, you know, it's just as hard as it is in England. Um, lately I've been a bit depressed because of stress, you know, stress getting a job and stress with marriage because I want to. I want to be able to support my wife and no, not have to support me because I've got a job, you know, that usual stuff. The usual stuff that men worry about, you know, hard working men that love their partners, I guess. Um, other than that, my Donna went to a church group and had fun. And, oh, almost dropped the tablet. Um, what else? Do, do, do. I might as well sing a song, I guess. Let's say, You better watch out, you better not cry. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to rape you. You better watch out, you better not cry. He's got a ginormous dildo, and that's no shame. Yo, he's coming to town, oh, he's coming to town, oh, Santa Claus is coming to get ya. Don't know why I sang that, but anyway. So let's see, what else can I say? I want to do a vlog, this is going to be, I guess, a vlog. Um, let's say, watch some YouTube videos. Not impressed by YouTube lately, Brenda Mitchell. The Mr. Hold who goes up holding up. He finally actually did some holding up again. It was nice to see him get like eight movies. Instead of getting one bottle of Tabasco sauce. And um, one movie. It was good to see him actually hold up for once. Even though I still don't call eight movies holding up. I call about buying 20 or 30 holding up. But you know. Whatever you can spend is a holding I guess. You know. No diss at him. But you know. That's just my opinion. Uh, Sean C. Phillips called Uda, saw his uh, Tuesday uh, shop about, and I don't know why, but he always wants to take everybody out to eat first, like, he wants people to watch him eat, and I don't get that, but I guess it's because it's like a vlog kind of thing, but I like both of those guys, they're great on YouTube, um, James Johnson's mouse work thing, which was like 20 seconds with his personal trainer. I watched that, that was pretty funny. Uh, listen to some music. I'm watching Mick Foley at the minute talking on uh, 
North East Wrestling. Well, I'm not really watching it. I've got polls, but I've been watching it. Oh. These vlogs are hard. You know, I've never understood how people can do 20 minute vlogs because what did I have to talk about? You know, I mean, some people have an hour ones for a day, and I'm like, oh no. You know, this is my uh, this is my personal space. If you can see it on the wall, there's my t there's there's a computer, there's the computer screen, there's some DVDs there, wrestling DVDs. Then you'll see my TV over here, and my PlayStation Four, and then up there's the globe, and now I'm again. Oh, and there's more pictures. There's a cupboard, and there's the front. There's the door. It's not as small as it looks. It's a little small on the cam, but it's actually quite roomy. Um, I was thinking about getting rid of this tomorrow and selling it for um, $180. But I don't know, you know, I'm... If it can get video footage and that, and I can put it on YouTube, I might just keep it. But the problem is the video looks terrible in mind, and it doesn't look like it's very good, so I'm sorry about the video quality. And I just really wanted to do an update so people didn't know I was ignoring them and I wasn't bothering. Because I know it can be quite difficult when you're like going for an overview. And then you want to see the next part and the person doesn't put one up. I haven't quit, it's just I need to get a better camera because my other one broke. So I'd like to thank everybody for being patient. And I would like to say thanks for watching this, I guess, plot. And I hope you all have a lovely day. Thank you and take care.